Hi there internet friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel Auto Tip Off. Today we take a look at the new 2023 Lexus RZ Electric SUV, stay with us until the end of the video, we will do our best to give you an informative review of this electric SUV, so don't be shy now, jump into the seat next to us, buckle up and enjoy the ride. Since December last year, Lexus has been making a big fuss about its electric future, teasing an astonishing 16 new EVs alongside sister brand Toyota. The first of these is called the Lexus RZ, an all-electric alternative to the Lexus RX. We've been getting a number of teasers of the car in concept form but now the time for teasing has come to an end and the Japanese luxury automaker has finally revealed its first entry into the combustion-free SUV segment. Thankfully, a splash of grey paint has actually made the production version look even better than the concept, but as we know, looks can only carry a car so far. Let's see if the RZ has what it takes to go the distance. Earlier this year, Lexus design boss Simon Humphreys explained that the company would reinvent existing design flourishes for the new generation of all-electric models, and that is apparent in what would normally be called the Lexus spindle grille. As an electric vehicle with no need for engine cooling, this styling cue has now been transformed into a spindle body, helping customers identify both the brand of the car and its derivative of powertrain. The design language employed here is called seamless e-motion, expressing seamless acceleration and a dynamic sense of torque unique to a battery electric vehicle, with the RZ style to look like it is in motion even when stationary. 18 and 20 inch wheels are part of communicating the dynamic performance image of Direct 4, the brand's electric all-wheel drive system while a flat underbody improves aerodynamic efficiency. The rear of the vehicle now boasts a spelled out Lexus script that resides above a full width light bar. Five exterior colors are available, but Lexus has only told us that one of these is called Ether and that a bitonal color scheme will be on offer. Inside, the cabin has been designed to minimize driver distraction and sees the door cards flow into the low instrument panel. Interestingly, the yoke steering wheel that we were expecting has been left out of the equation, at least for the American market and for the time being. As for materials, two types are used on the seats, including Ultra Suede, which uses 30% bio-based sustainable materials. A 14-inch touchscreen infotainment display will be provided and will be accessible via voice control, although we're glad to see that some physical knobs remain too. Steering wheel controls will be able to adjust this system with drivers able to control navigation, audio, and drive mode selection. These switches on the wheel are synchronized with the available head-up display system to further encourage drivers to focus on the road ahead and the overall cabin layout is intended to minimize driver eye movement, thus reducing fatigue and distraction, increasing safety. Three interior color schemes are offered, including orange, French Four Storm, Palomino, and Dapple Gray Black. In addition, the world's first shadowy illumination changes the shade of light projected onto the door trim ornament when the doors are opened and closed, adding new flair to the interior space. Other highlights include the availability of a panoramic glass roof, which is dimmable for the first time in a Lexus, and Lexus Safety Suite 3 with its dynamic radar cruise control, pre-collision system, and lane departure alert. To maximize comfort, another Lexus first is the inclusion of a radiant heater that minimizes strain on the battery. Other notable mentions include a specific in-cabin sound and the reduction of unwanted noise through new acoustic glass, a new weather stripping cross-section, and the fact that the underfloor battery acts as a sound barrier. Speaking of insulation, an optional steer-by-wire system reduces effort when making turns and is said to be capable of blocking out unnecessary vibrations from the tires and brakes, only relaying vital information such as road information to the driver. We'll have to try this one out for ourselves before we praise it in any way. Still, with McPherson strut suspension in front, a trailing arm double wishbone setup at the rear, and the first Lexus frequency reactive dampers that enhance handling and comfort, Lexus is adamant that the RZ will provide precise control of sprung weight, along with natural posture changes, a tactile steering feel, and the linear responses of steering, braking, and acceleration. As for performance, Lexus has revealed little except to say that this will launch as the RZ450e in the US. Based on Toyota's ETNGA platform, as seen on the Toyota BZ4X, the dual-motor setup produces the equivalent of 201 horsepower, 150 kilowatts, at the front axle and 107 horsepower, 80 kilowatts, on the rear. Lexus did not disclose what the combined outputs are, but seeing as these are the same motors from the BZ4X in a different configuration, it stands to reason a total figure of 308 horsepower is in the cards. 
With a 71.4 kWh battery, Lexus says to expect up to 225 miles of range, with 18-inch tires. We'll know more ahead of the RZ's on-sale date, which is expected to be some time towards the end of 2022. Well there you have it internet friends, that's our take on the new 2023 Lexus RZ electric SUV, subscribe to auto tip off, slap that notification bell, and to view further episodes just follow the links that appear on your screen, as always enjoy your driving adventures, from us until the next time, cheers for now.